Now, does this mean that every electric vehicle is about to go on fire? No. But is there a good chance that statistically, if we double, then double, then double, then double, then double, then double, then double, until you get 100% that's going to be electric vehicles, there will be an increase in the number of cars that are exploding? Yeah, because electric car batteries, they contain chemicals that can be dangerous if they catch fire, making it difficult for firefighters to put out the flames. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Parts Talk. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. But before we begin, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and also that notification. It will let you know whenever I drop a new video. I drop a new video every week. So we have a video here from Sky News Australia. I like watching Australian news. They get straight to the point. They're not as aggressive as Fox News ought to be, but they surely find a way to get their point across. And we're going to be talking about electric cars again. Why? Because realistically, there is no strategic plan in place. It was just placed upon us by our respective governments here in the West, and we will be paying the price. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Example of that. And again, I might be a petrol head. I might go to things like Newcastle, which was a great event. I don't hate electric vehicles, all right? I get it. For some people, better mousetrap, particularly if you live in and around the cities. But... There was a little story that I was surprised even made it through the editorial decision making of the taxpayer funded news websites this weekend, where they pulled together a whole bunch of vision from around the world of electric cars exploding. The batteries exploding, going on fire, and it is so dangerous because of the chemicals that are involved in this, that firefighters will have to wait to a certain point in time to actually go and engage to try and turn to try and put those fires out. No, the topic of electric cars exploding is a controversial one and it is also concerning so while not all electric vehicles are at risk the increasing number of electric cars on the road means that there will be likely an increase in number of battery related fires as the number increases now does this mean that every electric vehicle is about to go on fire no but is there a good chance that statistically if we double then double then double then double then double then double then double until you get 100 percent that's going to be electric vehicles there will be an increase in the number of cars that are exploding yeah because electric car batteries they contain chemicals that can be dangerous if they catch fire making it difficult for firefighters to put out the flames and that's basically what you're seeing here and said while the likelihood of an electric car catching fire is still relatively low the more electric cars there are on the road the greater the chances of battery related fire occurring even firefighter unions are expressing concerns about the potential for an increase in battery related fires particularly in areas like Queensland, where they are already dealing with one residential fire per week due to lithium iron batteries you'll see in the video as well charging you betcha and believe it or not even firefighters unions are saying today this is going to be a problem particularly in Queensland they're worried that they have to deal with almost one residential fire a week because of the lithium iron batteries that are connected to a number is going to increase significantly over the next few years, but already they're dealing with one fire a week. And think about how few electric cars there are right now. Think of how few batteries there are connected to solar. And yes, it will be the vast minority, but when the vast minority might be your unit block, you may notice. So as the number of electric cars and solar panels with batteries continue to increase, it's important to ensure that proper safety measures are in place to prevent fires and protect people's homes and communities. Now, unfortunately, we now live in a world where everything is driven by an ideological agenda and not by logic. And this was as a result of our political leaders just going ahead and said, okay, no ICE vehicle sales after 2035. Some have also made it clear to push the date forward all the way to 2030. There's already reports of how insurance companies finding it expensive to repair Teslas. So they just write the vehicles off whenever they're involved in an accident. And we must also remember, electric cars were always concept cars. Manufacturers knew they were expensive to manufacture and they were highly unsafe. If you didn't already know, Electric cars were always concept cars. Manufacturers knew how expensive and highly unsafe they can be, which is why most delayed launching them full scale. Most manufacturers in the past made only smaller versions of electric cars, 
like the Bolt, the Volt, the Prius, Smart, etc. Because the larger they are, the more dangerous they can be. And these concept cars have been around for more than 15 to 20 years. While the idea of electric car batteries exploding may be scary, it's important to recognize that the likelihood of this happening is still relatively low. However, as the number of electric cars and battery-powered devices increases, it's crucial to take steps to prevent fires and ensure the safety of our communities because that is far more important, the preservation of life. Without life, we can't go forward. Without life, we won't be able to build and maintain the infrastructures we currently enjoy today. And also remember, Engineers build, mechanics maintain, what we in the world here take for granted. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to grab a copy of my ebook, The Parts Manager Guide. Please smash that like button on your way out. It will only take you 1.5 seconds to do so. Until next time.